What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This will be a lockbox uh, stealing route in Vardenfell. Just checking if I've got enough lockpicks. Got about 100, let's go get a few more. As you can see, I've just collected another the Loffy painting, a uh, modest volcano, which is worth a million plus, and that took me about 20 minutes to get. I also got a few uh, crafting motors as well from the safe box loop. So let's begin. I always go to um, Outlaws Refuge, I just find it just the easiest, as it's very close to the base run. So let's begin. As with the image in the video earlier, it shows you my route, which I do, which I'll start off in uh, Genesis, then I move to Alderaan. Balmora, Sad Moon, then I'll do the Vivic City, Suran, uh, Tel Banova, and then I move to um, Sadiq Mora, Tel Aran, and then the final is Tel Bora. And then obviously by then you can respawn. The safe boxes are probably respawned so you can go back to the original one. That's why we start. So this is where the first lock boxes will be. There's a few guards, but I tend just to run through them quickly. I've got a massive bounty. I'm not bothered because it's a PvP character. So first house. Let's go start to the uh, video. And it happens from time to time. It's because I'm trying to rush things a little bit. Let's get in the house. And there should be a lock box there, but there's not one there. I'll be more cautious this time. And the next lock is on the way. I've received assurances from Hans Frederick. Just turn the character of him down. You need only be patient. So the next the next lock box is in the resting guama. It should be behind the table. And there's nothing there. Move to the next house, the Warren's house. Uh, it should be either here, or I think it might be underground. Oops, so there's not one in this house either. So you'll get this on some runs where some locations won't actually have the save boxes. So they'll be just in other locations. So the last two houses, this one and that one. There we go. Finally the safe box. Um, I believe the safe box should be here. It's not there either. So we'll move on to the next area, which is Aldrin. Uh, 
and there is two safe boxes in this location. There is one in this tent. She's here, she's not there. Is another location here which is not there. So I've not a good run so far, but like I said, the safe boxes are random, so they might be spawning in other locations. So we'll move to Balmora. Check with the guard. There's one in the kitchen area, which is also not there. Maybe someone's on this route as well. So, should be one there. It's not there. I'll just double check in here, but I'm pretty sure it's not in here. And the next house has three spawn locations. So it's a much better one. Should be one here. There's one under the stairs. What also annoys me about the Vardenfell safe boxes, there is no master ones. I don't know if that makes any difference. And this is the final one here. There's three in this house, which is quite nice. So the reason the Vardenfell uh, safe boxes are the best things to farm in the game, uh, stealing wise, is because you can get yeah these paintings which will sell for one to two million. You also get the waterfall ones, which are the three windowed paintings, which are worth even more, probably three to four million. You also get crafting motifs, uh, which will probably sell between. Uh, 10k to 30k and you've also got a chance of getting the shivering cheese which will be probably half a meal so um, you don't always get lucky every run but I'm pretty confident you could probably grab a painting uh, one every two days if you've done this run and I've had about three paintings now Meant to be another one there, it's not there. So we're just going to teleport to the Vivic City. This is one of my least favourite places to find the safe boxes, as it's just more awkward because you're going in and out of so many doors, it's annoying. And also they're less likely to be here as more people will come to Vivic City. As there's obviously it's got the um it has the uh all the crafting stations and other useful things, so so because it's not out of the way as much. So you do find that they're not here, but you never know. There should be one there, it's not there. I'm not having a good run. But it happens, sometimes they're all here, other times they're not. Should be a safe box there. Let's have my anger out on these. Oh, 
There's also no guards in this area, so you can run about freely. Well, there's no guards with me running this route anyway. Should be one there. And the final one should be one in here. There it is. So there is a final two which are awkward to get to. Um, which are in the Mages and the Fighters Guild. Sometimes I don't bother going for them as they are awkward. Um, I think they should be master save boxes because there is a guard planted right on them. But you can still get them. I think there's one in the middle somewhere as well, but I've never actually found that. So this is not a full comprehensive, it's probably... I'm probably getting um, about 95% of all the safe boxes and garden fell on this route. Or the locations at least. So there's a guard here on the left. I'll just keep stealthing. There should be one there. Oh no, sorry, this one here. Just have to be careful. Got a box. So there's a guard right there, which is all full. And then the next area you want to go is the Mages Guild. And again, the guard will be on that side. So, stealth, stealth, stealth. And there's the next box. Get in this corner. See the guard over there. Open the safe box. Oh, there you go. Crafty motive, not bad. And then now we can finally teleport out of that city, which is annoying. And we are now in Suran. There's only one house with safe boxes. the guard there. I think there might be another guard somewhere but we won't go this far. The Lau's house. Run under the stairs. It's not there. And the one up here. Not there. So I did do this run earlier, so I don't know if the safe boxes or have only partially respawned. I don't know what the respawn time is on safe boxes. But I've found normally you can go round in a circle on the map. I didn't hit um, Sadif more earlier, so there could be some there. So the next one we'll go to. I've been caught again. Just keep rolling and rolling till that goes. Oh, I just realised I missed somewhere when I didn't actually go to Sayed Nim. I missed one, so I should have gone Balmora, Sayed the name, then gone to Vivek, then Saran, so I'll just quickly jump here. There's two safe box locations here, I'll say locations because they might not be there. One in the sea salt grocery. And there's one there. One in 
Jamie's house. Our Drillo's house. That's there. So, that's that area done. Now we go to Tell Granora. Safe box, I think is upstairs. As you can see, they're showing all the paintings that you can acquire. These are the ones in the lock boxes. I will get this little box open. Right. We go to the next house. Be on the right side, yep. Advanced. I don't know if simple or advanced or makes any difference with the drop rate. I'm not actually sure. I don't think it seems to have any effect. I don't think there's another one down here. I think it's just that one at the top. So the drop rates are a bit on the low side, I'd say you're probably going to get, um, I don't think there's any in here, I don't think, uh, I'm pretty sure there's none in this area. Yes, I'd say the drop rates on the paintings are probably, it's not too bad really, it's probably one in... 40 chests I'd say you're going to get a painting so it's not terrible so every one or two runs you're probably going to get a painting and like I said they go for a million you know so yes, the runs don't take very long it's probably about 30 to 40 minutes they're not particularly difficult The first one we'll go into is not that one. Niblon's house. And there should be one here. That's one of the paintings you can also acquire. That's the most expensive ones. But there should be one on that dresser. I think it might be about three locations in Gigan Tower. The first one is here. Don't think there's any other locations. There's one underground. Which I'll show you. So that there should be one here. And then in the basement area, which is hidden quite well. So it's normally there. Probably get mugged off now, but so oh there it is. Yep, yeah, it's quite awkward. Let's 
see with these stupid people. Okay, just go through the lock place. I don't know where he went there, if he died or not. So that's a nice uh, hidden one there. It's normally there because people, that's you know, very out of the way, so unlikely anyone's going to come down and grab that. Unless they are deliberately going down there to get it. You're not going to stumble across that. I'm sure there's one there. I think there might be one at the entrance somewhere that's not spawned. Again, like I said, with the Sadif Mora and the Vivic City are my least favourite safe box spots to go because it's a lot of running in and doors and upstairs, downstairs. It's a bit annoying. I think this is a false door or a quest door. So ignore that one. We've got this one in the inn, behind the counter. There it is. Thank you. I think this one has two. One upstairs, one downstairs, or is there one here? I think there might be a spot there. So this is why I don't like these ones, because it's a little bit upstairs, downstairs, lark. But I think there's meant to be one there. And there's the second one. when that happens when you mount the horse and then you press A and there's like a fly or something and it picks up instead and demounts you. Very good. I think this is the last small house. Which again I think it might be upstairs. And there it is. See that's what that is the painting you want. See I've had one of the larger ones and I've had the smaller ones but like I said they do drop I've also got the the treasure hunter passive but I don't think it affects uh, safe boxes it's only uh, treasure chests The only CP I would recommend to have on the green one is the um, obviously the safe box and that gold you get. So obviously opening all these chests, you will be getting some gold obviously returned. So even if you've done the whole run and didn't get anything, you're still going to get about ten thousand in gold and probably another ten in loot. So you'll probably get about twenty k a run. Tell Naga has got about three. Oh, I forgot there's a guard here. Easily avoidable though, I believe. So there's one up here. Which is not up here. Oh no, it is up here, sorry. It's here. The other one, I have to be careful with the guard this time, is under here, lovely jubbly, and there is one 
one or two in the adept's hall. There's two. They don't like me today, do they? I'm being attacked all the time. Take that. So here's the one there. So just remember they're in the middle. And if we go around, there's another one. Oh, it's not in the middle. It's there. Sorry, it's here. Uh, that does it for this area, I believe. Be careful of that guard. And the next area we go to is this little uh, town there, Tell Run. So we've got just got a travel there by mount because there's no way shrine but it is quite close I think some of the ones here are advanced safe boxes again I don't know if it has a factor on the drop rates I don't think it does but all the same it's nice to see them so you go in this door this will give you access to the little shackle of uh, two or three buildings. Um, a quick look around, it's probably upstairs if there's one. Yep, next to the bed. Yeah, I remember now, see advanced, yeah. Cooks fine things. So that's one there. See, they're always teasing the paintings, you know, they're on every bloody wall. I suppose that is the hint that they drop in these areas. Again, it's probably upstairs. And there it is, right next to what you want. Give me one. But, um, yeah, like I said, you know, it's surprising the paintings are worth so much money because, right, yes, they are a rare drop. But I wouldn't say they're like an impossible drop like, you know, the Battleground recipe or the, um, what's the other one called? You know, just like the rare items, Ethereal Dust. You know, they're like a one in a, a thousand drop. Whereas these drop about one in... 60 safe boxes i don't think they're too bad you, you do get a painting eventually probably get one every other day like i said if you just do the run once and there's the safe box all advanced as well but again I don't know what effect that actually has. And now the final location is uh, Voss. And what I do is I go into the town first. First door's right in front of us. Back it. I'm sending it to the guard. 
there is. There is a guard that always crosses past his door, which is quite annoying. I'll just wait a minute. Bloody guards, so many of them. And there it is. And the final location here, which took me ages to find because I didn't actually know where it was. Um, you go from this way shrine, just keep going west until you see the delve appear. Make your way towards the delve. You make your way towards the direction of the delve. We're not going in the delve. So about here. And then what you want to be doing is you want to sort of try and get left. So there's the delve. Come up here. Through here. And there's a tiny little staircase. And there should be one on that crate there. Which there isn't. So that wraps up the run. I might have missed out a couple of locations, probably in Sadif Mora. And also I said that I think there's one more in the Wasteworks. But that is pretty much all the save boxes. Then obviously then I can then jump back to Gnis uh, Way Shrine and then restart the route all over again and the, the safe boxes hopefully will have respawned I think they reset when, when when one is opened somewhere else it will then respawn another in a location that didn't have one before so every time on this door And obviously if you do get a painting or something valuable, it's always best to go straight to an outlaw's refuge and launder it. So you don't want to risk getting caught. Like I said, I never get caught anymore, but you don't want to take that chance with something that's worth like a million plus. So there's that one. So the route might seem a bit confusing at first and I found it to be very tricky but after I've done it three or four times you eventually start remembering where the where the chests are and it just becomes easier um, you know now I can sort of remember about 80% of where all the safe boxes are in Vardenfell I'd say there's probably about 30 locations and I've pretty much got them all on this video give or take probably two or three but as you can see see now I'm going back round they're all respawning in probably the locations that didn't have them previously It's been really generous now. Every spot I've been to, there's been one. Yeah, 
think apart from there is meant to be one here. So unfortunately it wasn't a massively successful run but I did get a crafty motive. Um, like I said they will sell between about 10 to 20k. If you get a chest it might be a bit more. But of course what you want to be going for is the the paintings. These paintings will go for uh, 1 million plus, probably 2 million. And the waterfall uh, ones with the three individual sections, which are the larger ones, I've had one. They will go for about 4 million. So you can make a lot of gold. I know it's RNG, but I don't think the drop is that bad. Um, I'll just quickly go and do another, see if these ones have spawned. So just remember the two tents, nice and easy. Should be one there. Just someone doing what I'm doing. No. And there should be another one here. I don't think it's this tent. Screw my bubbler. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's in this tent it's meant to be. It's annoying that bloke's always in the way, bending in the fire. I'll put you in the fire. So yeah. And then what I normally do is I'll just quickly jump back to Sentinel. As like I said a lot, I always use that Outlaws Refuge there. You can use any one you want obviously, but just find that one just quick. As it's right on the way shrine. Literally you can see it there. Nice and easy. Another one that's really good is the Gold Coast one. I like that one too. to the fence Lambda, the things you want to sell in the guild traders so I want to be selling that and then just sell your green and blues you're not going to make tons of money doing this but it will stack up nice so even if you don't collect anything on your run I said you'll make around 20k in total of the gold from the safe boxes and your goods and obviously ideally get rid of all your gold because obviously with a bounty mine they're going to take any gold they can and yeah that's the run guys I'll be doing a few more uh, video runs of it see if I get lucky and I'll post any finds I do get so yeah it's made me um, I was pretty broke I went down to about half a million but now I'm back up to about 2 million in total all thanks to this run doesn't take long and you might strike gold um, I said that I don't think the drop rate's too bad but anyway guys if you enjoyed the video please drop me a like subscribe to the channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next one